Hey y'all. So today we're going to show you how to use Final Cut Pro and running a library completely externally using SanDisk's Extreme Portable SSD. Because uh, if you're like me, you know uh, how expensive it is buying more solid state space on the MacBooks. Uh, so I got a 512 gigabyte setup on this one, which is great for downloading and running the programs that I need. But for the huge libraries that Final Cut typically creates, we're gonna see how fast it is running it on a USB-C um, external drive. This one also reads and writes like a thousand megabytes a second. There is a newer version that's done like double, like 2000. But for the 4K and the 1080p video that I run, it's perfectly fine from at least what I see. All right, so to add this drive as a new Final Cut library, which will also store all of your rendered files, go to New, Library, and it says where? We're gonna have to select the Extreme SSD. That is going to be where we keep this library, and now we'll call it Jeff's External. Yeah, can I spell external? There we go library and we're going to select save and now we have a new library and from here we can import media and do everything just as if it were part of our macbook all right so the next question that is going to come up is well is this fast well let me go ahead and open a project so let's open up this one here and all these files, by the way, do live on the drive as well. So there's nothing being duplicated to the MacBook itself, which is incredible, especially because this project is mostly all 4K video. So if we duplicated them on the Mac, that would have taken a lot more space again on our precious drive here. So I went ahead and I stacked up some videos here. I even, uh, increased, uh, lower some opacity. That way we can see through that way you really know, yep, there's a few videos going on at once and really applies these effects very, very smoothly. Which by the way, it does look like we're going to need to recharge our Mac here. So as a added bonus for your purchase, uh, this USB C to C cable actually does a pretty good job in charging your Mac and acting as a charging cable. So we'll connect those here. So it does actually charge and it looks like almost, yep, there it goes. So it does charge at 30 watts, even through this cable right here. All right, so the last speed test that we're gonna run is exporting this project. So we're going to share as I like to do Apple devices 4K for most of the purposes of where I upload to, which is YouTube or to just my phone. Say next. Sure, let's do it. Save it here. And we're gonna let this render. You may point out while watching that this is in fact a screen recording of a playback. And this is so to show you the timestamp but it took about six minutes to completely export the six minute 4K project. So roughly about one minute for one minute of video. Looks great. So this is definitely a testament to both the M1 as well as using the SanDisk portable SSD to run an entire library and quickly uh, get a finished product out. And to show you how much space that I've been saving by using this portable drive. I'm gonna go into the About This Mac. I've used almost 900 gigs on just this external drive. So almost everything that I have on my library is on this one drive. Otherwise my 500 gigs on my MacBook would have been toast by now. I hope you got some confidence after watching this. If you are thinking about running your Final Cut library externally, I've been doing this actually since the USB 2 days when we had USB A drives. So I already knew that this was going to exceed those expectations and hope it exceeds yours as well. All right. 
happy filmmaking, you guys, and we'll see you for another one.